How's everybody doing today? Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, yes, panel lining. You've been meaning to learn how to do this. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, I don't think any everybody does it the way that I do, but I already did get a lot of it done, but I can still show you. I forgot my toothpicks downstairs. Whoops. Hope you folks are having a good day. Hey, it's Belle. I got everything I needed from there. Hey, Doru, how's it going? Yeah, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. This is a mess. This one's really, really messy. But what I like to do is you take each piece. Uh, let's see, actually, if I'm missing any spots. That way we can just work on it. I think I covered almost everything here. That's right, I've been meaning to do the feet. So Edric, we can show you the feet. <laughs> this is one way. So the way I do it is with paint and uh, paint thinner. But a lot of people use the Gundam markers, which I do not have. Me and feet, I know. <laughs> pretty funny. How's it going? Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Good day in general. Hey, Joe! Soinks! How's it going? And Neon's here too? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is what we had from last time. We tried uh, white panel lining for the first time. We're gonna show Edric how to do the feet. Thanks for, so much for uh, joining me, everybody. I should have... So tip for next time, definitely have um, <laughs> a separate container of water. Oh well. Let's just do a tiny bit. There. Let's be really careful not to spill it. Uh, Joe recently did panel lining for the first time, too. So no worries. No, you're okay. Anyway works. Alright, so I have my separate container for my paint thinner. Sorry, it's kind of noisy when I open it. There we go. I think that should do for now. I'd be really curious to see your, uh, Warhammer minis, for sure. Um, so, Joe, some of the stickers were white. So, like, this here on the skirt, these lines along here, that's a sticker. So that's what kind of gave me the idea of trying to do white on this kit. Um, this is a sticker, too, which is peeling off. But what I had been thinking was to give it a try, too, because I feel like it's uh, pretty bold against the red. Edric, my man. Right, I'm gonna take the feet off if I can. Maybe we'll just keep it there. <laughs> Let's play it safe. So usually what I do, which this might be a waste, but it's the way that it works for me, is I paint a lot of the surface here. just really try to make sure I get into those lines. A couple weird days where you're just laying in bed, not really feeling up to doing stuff. That happens sometimes. But you'll get back to it in no time. 
Hey, Sniffer, this is um, just the regular army painter paints. I usually just get a kit of the primary colors and just hand mix them. And if I'm working on a project long term, like painting a whole bunch of minis at the same time, I'll just keep a notebook with some non-scientific uh, records of uh, how many drops of each color I use to mix my colors, if that makes sense. Okay, so I think I got... oh, not the center, not yet. This might be a little tricky. We'll see how it goes. Have you ever tried the Mr. Hobby acrylics? No, I have not. Would you recommend them? Are they your favorite? Yeah, and Belle, maybe you just need a little bit of a break. That's all. really curious to try the Gundam markers. Um, if other folks recommend them, I would definitely be willing to try them. I just use this because this is what I have on hand. And the results have been pretty good from what I've had. Oh boy, airbrushing. Yeah, that is something I have not tried. What was your experience with it, Belle? So we'll give those feet a tiny bit of time to dry. And I wanted to check out our booklet to see what the weapons looked like. You haven't done airbrushing either, seems kind of intimidating. For Gundam detail stuff, yes. For mini, maybe not the best. The gloss is gloss AF, but the matte is good matte. Okay. Gundam markers can be hit or miss with the Gundam marker airbrushing system. Yes, that was really interesting to watch you do. It reminded me of uh, the blow pens from my childhood. Huh. I don't think there's any part of this booklet that actually shows... Unless I'm looking at it incorrectly. Like, I see that the uh, back here has been painted. The weapons, maybe they are just really dark gray. I don't know. But I do want to paint those today. And we could probably try to do some black there. I'm terrible at it. It's not intuitive. Listen, it's a new skill. Something you've never tried before. This, no, no, no. <laughs> no, Joe. That was terrible. could not believe that we had that issue. I still don't know where that uh, one dry decal goes. That's on my list of to-do, is finish up the stickers on that kit. is fun. It was just strange. It was very strange. We could not find it in the booklet anywhere. It's going to be tough to handle. Your airbrush is kind of messed up, so every time you airbrush, your blood pressure equals the pressure. The air pressure quick? Wow. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I need some tweezers, actually. Get 
help me out with this. Something I also need to get that I keep forgetting about is um, something to hold the pieces when they're drying. Whoops. So now we're running into this issue. Well, that's not really helping. <laughs> Airbrushing is a new skill and it'll take some time to get used to, but unlike spray cans, it's definitely not easy. You'll get the swing of things. I think something that you have is a lot of patience. From what I've seen. So the sister gave you a 70 pound for a new one, so you only have to pay 80 for a good one. Okay. Well, that was very nice of your sister. Yeah, Belle, have uh, just as much pac patience for yourself as you would have for somebody else. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay, so now for our feet. I usually just take a Q-tip and dip it into the paint thinner. And then the next thing I try to do is rub against the direction of the line. So like if the crevice is, you know, horizontal like this, you're going to want to go vertical. That way you're not just taking out the paint. Uh, yes, you can post a link. The chat should be safe now for links. Because <laughs> that was an issue earlier. There we go, you see? So it's starting to come off. <laughs> I know, we're all our own worst critic, but... That is okay. And look, I did something! If I did this correctly... Ooh, hold on. Here we go. So we should be able to... See the page, ta-da! Okay, yeah, this is what I need. The clamps. That's $5.99. That's a cheap price. Not bad, not bad at all. That's interesting. I wonder why they're cheaper. And then you can just get, like, styrofoam to hold them in, right? And Edric, obviously I'm not an expert on panel lining. There's parts of this that I still mess up. Like, I feel like if you make the surface too wet, stuff is going to get into the crevices anyway. So it's kind of a tough balance. So sometimes I apply with the side that I dipped, and then I rub away with the uh, dry side of the Q-tip. Don't get styrofoam. Why? Why is it a trap? Hey, Ian is here too. How's it going, Ian? 
How's your MG coming along? See, so yeah, I took too much off on one spot, but otherwise, it's looking pretty good. See, right there, I let too much in. Good, how you doing? Just need to do the weapons. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're panel lining these feet, and then we're going to paint our weapons as well. Get one of those cardboard cat scratching boxes. Hmm. I trust you, Belle. I trust you. Thanks so much. Yeah, I wasn't sure how the uh, white was going to look, but we gave it a shot. And I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know. I kind of want to go back and panel line like all the kits that I have because when you do it, you just notice so many details. Hey, Tato! How's it going? Oh my goodness. Alright, so I need to do a lot of shoutouts here. I hope you're all already following each other. Um, but folks, if you're not following Edric, please give him a follow. He just did a Magic Gathering card opening stream along with a tech stream where he was a carrot and a potato and other things, and it was super duper fun to see him play with that. Um, Joe our Inferno, who is a wonderful kit basher, and we're actually trying to schedule a multi-stream coming up soon. Uh, maybe he can show me some tips and tricks. Maybe we can plan a kit bash together. Who knows? Um, <laughs> There is also the wonderful Gunpla Neon. Absolutely amazing. Every time I see a stream, I never know what to expect, but in the most delightful sense. Uh, we also have Belle the Sheik, who is much more knowledgeable than me when it comes to this hobby and Gunpla in general. Um, we also have Ian, who is just recently working on the MG uh, Strike Freedom which is something that we built on this channel. That's the one. Maybe I should ask you, because I can't find where one of the dry decals is supposed to go. Maybe you can uh, point me in the right direction. Oh, and Tato. Goodness gracious, Tato just got here. <laughs> Tato's streams are also ones that I never know what to expect, but in the most delightful sense. Um, recently streaming... <gasps> Firewatch. Firewatch is a fantastic game. Without spoiling it, Tato, did you get to finish? Did you finish the story? Because I thought it was fantastic. And did you know that they're trying to make Firewatch... Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say something wrong, but it's what's on my mind anyway. Um... There's some new movie or show that's going to have Angelina Jolie in it, and it's like they're trying to run away from some forest fire, but there's a lot of scenes in it that remind me of the game Firewatch, and I have to wonder how much influence they received from that game. You're not knowledgeable, just a nerd? No. You've given me a lot of good info over these past few months. You got to finish it? Nice. You're going to finish it tomorrow? Very good. Yeah, it was uh, riveting for me. I think I finished it in one sitting, but I wasn't streaming it or anything, so I could see how that would slow you down. It was the same thing with um, Gone Home. I had no idea what that game was about, and Leap told me to just play it, and I also finished that in one go. It was so good. All right, this centerpiece is going to be a little tricky. I'm not sure what I was expecting or how it's going to turn out, but let's try. <laughs> Whoops. It can just look like, I don't know, regular wear and tear, I guess. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be looking at this kit's... Uh, feet too much anyway. But 
That's how I'm going to reason with myself. Okay. Ta-da! Not bad, not bad at all. Just got to clean this up a little. This would be such a good mini-series or like movie to see play out. Jasmine without the jazz? Just Min or mine? I'm oblique, but it's nice to meet you. Um, also, folks, if you're not following Doru, he is a um, YouTuber. He is a dwarf who just started streaming last week, I believe, or the week before. He's been playing some Minecraft and some uh, Hollow Knight. Good friend of the channel, too. And welcome, Royal Hounds. Hope you're doing well. We are just doing some panel lining. So, Tato, I feel like you've played a lot of games this year so far. What is one of your favorites? Because I really enjoyed watching you play, um... I always forget the real title, but the one with the owl husbando. That was a very sweet story. Nicely well done. Well told, I should say. Tato is a wonderful person to have for karaoke. He's like the life of the party. Husbando, how he will be missed. You've always liked indie titles and shorter stories, so that one was super intriguing. But you think it's Bendy's Ink Adventure? Hmm. Uh, no. I have not gone through a bunch of games this year. <laughs> That's part of my problem. I'm trying to finish some, but they're so gosh dang hard. And they take so long. I love them, though. They're pretty great. I mean, you know, on stream I play Dark Souls and Kingdom Come Deliverance. We tried Graven this weekend, which was... Okay, it was interesting. I might go back to it sometime. It just seemed like it didn't have too much going on, but maybe I'm judging it too quickly. Um, in my personal time, I've played some Monster Hunter and uh, Pokemon Snap, which is always a great time.
I'm glad you're in for that, Tato. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be an awesome time. All right. There's our feet. I was thinking about grabbing a toothpick to try to clean some of these spots. I'm not sure how successful we'll be, uh, but I'll be right back. I just have to grab them from downstairs. Just give me one second. It's open to everyone, so if you wanna, uh, it's always a good time. I think uh, B stream this weekend was pretty ridiculous with our singing. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I'll stop. Thanks very much. But you do. You're the one with the amazing voice, Tato. Super fun to sing with everybody though. I'm really glad that I don't live like in an apartment complex. Because <laughs> with the way I was belting it out, I was like, oh boy. If I had really close neighbors, they would be super mad. do it anyway. You're brave. You're brave. At least you have Raven, so he understands. We would be the best neighbors for each other. Oh man, can you imagine? Can you imagine like all the nice food we would share? If all the streamers lived next to me or nearby, I would constantly have like big dinner parties. That'd be so fun. Edric, I'm sure you'd be fine. This isn't too uh, detail-oriented. Like, if you can do small details on a mini, especially eyeballs, you'll be good at this. Did you get to see um, the feet, though? Raven's going with... Oh, wait, what? Just don't let my roommate sleep early, but she's away for the weekend. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So even better, you'll have the whole place to yourself. You. Yeah, it was kind of on a whim because, uh, like this here, these lines around the edge of the skirt are stickers, and I was like, I wonder what this would look like if we did white panel lining because I feel like the black would blend in a lot. So I'm super glad we tried it. All right, I think that's about as close as I'm gonna get. I could try to clean up this tubing a little bit. I think that's what I'll do. And then we still have the black on those, the uh, thrusters. Let's see, how do I want to tackle this? So, Edric, how do you like this uh, technique? Like I said, other people use um, the markers, so that might be a little bit more approachable. But I don't think this method is bad at all.
Always got scared you'd overuse your paints. Oh, no. So these are the... Oh, well, Sniffer, thanks so much for joining us and hope you have fun with ZZ. Uh, these are just the regular army painter war paints. This was like a just prime color kit. And I mix the colors by hand and just write down roughly, you know, how I got to that color if I'm doing anything that's uh, not straight from the bottle. And they're pretty affordable. I'd say a pack of... Uh, like 14 or 15 is probably like 20 to $30. I think that's uh, how much I paid for that back then. Just trying to clean up some of these spots, but it's not very successful. Let's try again. Yeah, it's not bad at all. You can just get them at a regular, you know, hobby shop. Because they're the same type that I'd use for minis also. And those are something that I want to paint on stream too. Because I have a lot of miniatures to paint. And I don't know if you folks have ever heard of the game uh, Kingdom Death Monster. It is really cool and has some pretty unique minis that are pretty terrifying. Actually, if you want to see, I can show you. Give me one second. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, don't they? Here, for folks who may not know. Oops, did I screw this up? I think I did. Hold on one second. Let me fix this. should be able to see what I'm looking at now. Here, yeah, here's an example of some of the minis. They are very pretty. But some of them are also pretty scary. Let's see if we can find any of the uh, scary ones. Let's see. There's this goat here with like this open chest. Or there's a. Uh... Trying to see. I think the one that shocked me the most was the. Uh... The baby. Where is it? Here we go. <laughs> like an anglerfish baby. Terrifying. Can you imagine painting those? They're also huge. They're very, very big. Here, so I just want to get a couple more parts of the pipe here.
Apparently I either missed or I rubbed away too much. That's better. And that stuff looks okay. Um, I don't usually use a fan. I'm usually pretty patient when it comes to it, and I don't think it takes an awful long time to dry. Especially for panel lining. I feel like you just have to let it set a little bit, and then you can go ahead and uh, do what you need to do. So, Edric, what kind of uh, army did you have for your Warhammer? Okay. So I don't know how well you can see it. The panel lining did add a little deep bit of detail on that. Um, but I feel like if the whole kit were done in black, it just wouldn't pop very much. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to do something with these, but I'm not sure what. I want to see what they look like in the booklet. Forgot they usually have a color guide here. Yes. Okay, let's see. Hmm. They don't seem to have it for what I'm looking for though. It's not in that picture. So I guess we'll just do what we want. Maybe add just a tiny bit of black. Two Steino, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. We just worked on 
Sampi. This color came out like very cranberry. Let's pick up this kit again and try out this technique. Oh, you have this kit? I'd be very excited to see that. Just got home from work. Ah, well, thank you for joining us, and I hope that uh, work wasn't too bad. I think I'll use my smaller brush. Um, I haven't yet done a full uh, paint job for a kit. That's something I want to do with the two Avas that I have. This is more just like accent work. Because you should really be priming whatever you're working on and then painting over it. I think that's what intimidates me is like uh, priming painting and then trying to put it together. It just seems like a lot, but I know that we can do it. Hey, Daniel Gamer, how's it going? So, Tato, not to like put you on the spot, but when was the last time you worked on a kit? You're doing okay? That's good. I hope it gets uh, better than okay. to do is I'm going to let these red parts in here dry. I'm going to use some of the paint thinner to remove excess from the top and then I want to do like a bit of orange in the center to make it look like it's uh, glowing. I'm not sure if that's the intent but that's what I would like to do. since December. Just kind of felt bad and it kind of discouraged you for a while. Oh. I'm sorry that you felt discouraged. It's uh, frustrating when kits don't go the way that you want them to. But you know, you take it at your own pace and you do what you want to do. That's what uh, keeps me happy with this hobby. After we finish this, I'll go back to finishing up the uh, MG heavy arms. I'm just intimidated by that because I'm still stuck on the arms. I don't know what I did wrong, so I'm going to have to study that more carefully. Um, and then I think after that, we'll go ahead and do our three Leos. Tato, did you get to see the ideas for the Leos yet, or no? You got stuck on the left arm for that kit, and it was the last one you were doing? Ugh. Yeah, it's super frustrating. Maybe now, since you stepped away from it, you'll come back with, like, refreshed eyes, you know? And you'll be like, ah, have your eureka moment. You'll be like, that's where it goes.
Hey, Angry, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. Hope you're having a good day. You haven't checked out the Leos yet? Folks, I sh I'm sure you are. But if you haven't already, please give Angry a follow. Another, another wonderful builder in the community. Potato Leos are awesome. Oh. Yeah, let me see. Uh, I did. From Premium Bandai, so here's the thing. A few streams ago, Brigadier Bacon brought it up to my attention, and I was like, man, that looks awesome. And when I went on to Premium Bandai, the website was under maintenance, so I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to wait. Uh, and then when it came back, I couldn't change my country to be anything but Singapore. Like, I had the zip code and my address, but there was no toggle to change it from Singapore. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll check it in the morning, and by the morning time it was gone. So it made me sad. Let's show Tato, hold on. I think it was the Leo S. Oh. I wonder if that's still available. Okay, you ready for this uh, amazingness, Tato? Let me make this bigger for you. Ta-da! Look at it. It's so fancy. Bra. I know. Bell, I'll have to try. I haven't tried anything with uh, Sabo yet. But if you folks are... Uh... There's no New York on Singapore. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? Did not know that this kit existed before that day, but I absolutely fell in love with it. It looks so magnificent. So knightly. Exactly what Tall Geese 2 should have had was a cape. Do any uh, Sandrock kits come with a cape? Intergalactic Heroes mashup? Absolutely. It's really cool. It's really, really awesome. Uh, so. Hey, David, with the health check. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I will do all those in just a moment. So, Tato, if you're still here, let me show you. I have three Leos that I'm going to be working on. And I apologize to folks who've seen this like a million times because I'm really slow with my projects. Uh, one Leo I'm going to make into like a shiny version using uh, spray paint, which I have not done before. They do on HD. Okay, very good. Um, one of them I'm going to scribe to look like a guardian from Breath of the Wild, and then one of them I'm going to make like rusted over and mossy like it had been abandoned. So I'll be looking forward to that. Cake model drops on the Discord. Let's take a look. Let me see. Be better to make your own though. Wait. Which Discord are you talking about, Angry? I am confused. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yes, you did, you did. Yeah, if you look at the uh, Gunpla recommendations, I believe, is where Angry put it. And David, thanks so much for the uh, health check. Super appreciate it. I was excited about cake. I was like, I don't know what cake has to do with anything, but I'm here for it. everybody's favorite cake. Angry does have some really interesting kits. Does not cease to amaze me. So excited to see that. You got really grandiose, grandiose, gosh, grandiose, grandiose, grandiose thinking of kits to make into stuff like that. Aw. 
Yeah, it might be a little bit of a scary process. <laughs> Someone say cake? Where? Gimme. I know. Uh, totally forgot what I was going to say. Uh, Bacon had a great idea for me, which was to try to scribe a kit first, and if it doesn't turn out well, turn it into that uh, abandoned, mossy, beat-up one. Which I thought was absolutely excellent. Years of horrible money habits. Well, now, you know, you probably have kits that are really hard to find. Like that one pink one that you had. I'm trying to remember what it was called. The cake is a lie. No, Joe, no. You sure do. Alright, so it's a little dim. But that's okay. Because I want to put some orange in there. Yes, the Farcia. Yes, yes. Thanks, Joe. I forgot. I have terrible memory, and then once I jump on stream, forget it. I don't know what happens to my brain. See if we can get a successful glowy effect. This color kind of looks like dipping sauce, I'm not gonna lie. You'll never forget because you were looking for it and then Angry comes by and is like, oh I have one, I built it last night. <laughs> So in terms of dipping sauce, uh, Bleep and I actually went to McDonald's yesterday and tried the BTS meal just to see what it was like. It was, um, you know, a 10-piece chicken nugget, chicken McNugget, with different dipping sauces. So there was a Cajun one and like a sweet chili one. They were both okay. I think the Cajun one was probably better. You have a prize kit from one of the end of the year campaigns. Ooh. Yeah, it's a normal nugget meal, except the dipping sauces are different. Yes, no. Not really sure what's supposed to be in there. This is what we're doing. Exactly. Well, I didn't see anything in the booklet, and I'm honestly not sure what these pieces are supposed to be. Unless it's just like ammo. Four Nobels. I ordered one from Hobby Link Japan. Nothing's happened to it yet. Um, I would really like one. Because that's one that I want to paint rainbow. For Pride, which by the way, happy Pride. You just sold one. Ah. That would be cool, Tato. I would totally be there for it. Just got it back in stock. Nice. Do you mind if I ask uh, what store you usually shop? Two. Okay. Hair across girl model. I gotta redo that one. I would appreciate it. For sure.
thank you. Let's see. Haha, -ha, it's still in stock. Wonderful. I'll have to get those tonight. Thank you very much for that. You just made my day. There's hope. Okay, there's that. Let me do the orange again in this one. All right. And then we'll move on to the weapons. Actually, you could probably do a little bit in here, too. So why don't we go ahead and grab that? just swinging it, I think we're doing okay. Oh my goodness, Terabyte Gaming, thank you so much for the raid. You folks are too, too kind. Um, if you're not following Terabyte already, please do. They're a wonderful group of folks that do a lot of different things. I saw them also working on a gunplay that was an SD kit, um, which was phenomenal, and they were super friendly. Super duper kind. So who do I have the uh, pleasure of speaking to today? <laughs> too, too sweet of you. Thank you so much. Just dropped the kit you're waiting on? Nice. Oh, it's Sight. Well, hello there. How you doing? Yes. Oh my goodness, Mr. Sky at Night with a raid. Thank you so much. How are you doing? How is your stream? It was Zeit's turn today? Okay. Uh, last time I was watching Mr. Sky at Night, they were playing some uh, Minecraft, I believe. Now they're doing Apex Legends. How is your stream? How are both your streams? Thank you so much for joining us today. And please, folks, give them a follow. They're all wonderful people. It went well, very good. How am I keeping? How's the stream going? We're doing pretty good. Uh, we've finished panel lining this mostly. Just got the feet done today. It's white, which is a little bit unusual, but I think it's uh, turning out pretty great. And now we're just working on the weapons. So I have these little packs that are going to go on the shield. Um, and then we have quite a few, whoops, weapons here as well to work on. So that's what we're doing. So you're last playing Stardew Valley. How is Stardew Valley? <laughs> Listen, Ian, your cats are great. Yes, it does contrast the red. And, um... These lines here are actually stickers from the kit. So that's kind of what gave me the idea. Because I was like, well, it feels like it's trying to tell us that it uh, wants to be panel lined white. Winter year one, making friends and bothering critters in the mines. The mines are really fun in that game. I think I've passed out in the mines quite a few times. Or outside of the mine and like, okay, time to go to bed, and then just can't make it. Mm. 
Yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And thanks for joining us today. I just should have been more careful with the painting. That way I could avoid getting too close, but you know what? This will work out just fine. There we go. late here you're gonna pop off and lurk for a while have a great stream thanks for the shout outs take care well again thank you so much for all the support you are truly wonderful and i really appreciate it thanks for stopping by and thank you so much for the raid That's what we got there. Let's go ahead and attach them back on. That's what I was hoping for. You know, I don't know if it's its functionality, but look at Now we have a bit of something to catch our attention here. See? That's all I wanted. All right. So let's go ahead on to our weapons. Oops, I still had a hand attached to this one. And so I'm wondering what we should do here. I was thinking like a full paint. So like do some base gray and then some of our metallic paints. Maybe some, some uh, dry brushing. We could do that to this. I think that would work out pretty well. So I wonder how easy it is. Yeah, just remove the scope like that. That's what we'll do. If I can get this hand to come undone. Come on now. Oh, that worked. So I think that'll be good. Go ahead and switch on over here. Oops. Actually, the white that's over here might still be salvageable. so hard for me to judge uh, the gray when first doing the drops like this because I feel like it always gets darker than what I'm anticipating. Okay, that's not bad. I'm going to add just a little bit more.
I actually think we want that to be just a little bit darker, especially for our base. Because especially with dry brushing, I try to do the darkest on the bottom. That way, when you're dry brushing the texture on the top, you can let the dark, you know, sit in those crevices and stuff. So that may have been too much white, which is my bad. But that's all right. Whoops. Sorry, I forgot to close something here. All right, there we go. I don't know, and at least for me when I paint, I feel like it really helps me to appreciate all of the fine details that are on the kit. Hey, Itchy, how's it going? See you being creative, keep it up, keep inspiring people. Ah, uh, you're too kind. I appreciate it. And listen, you do the same. Folks, if you're not following Itchy already, please do. Itchy is a variety streamer, but uh, does a lot of wonderful art and some video games. Definitely share the love. How you doing, Itchy? Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Yeah, we're just uh, painting some weapons today. I don't know what it is about this kit. I don't know if it's because it's, you know, Char's Gundam or what, but just wanted to give it a lot of attention. everything on that side. You haven't done an art stream in a while? Aw, well, you'll get back to it. You'll get back to it when you feel like the time is right. You always find painting the weapons to be hard because sometimes the paint makes them... Yes, I agree. Like, sometimes it might make them look a little bit more uh, matte or like... I don't know, a little bit more fake. Playing some Genshin Impact. Do you enjoy that? I have not tried it yet. Um, I'm wondering, Joe, if like maybe doing a gloss on the top after would help? I don't know. I don't have a good answer yet. It's something that I'm experimenting with, too. Because like I said, I want to do this base gray on it and then we'll do some dry brushing and then I want to do some like metallic stuff on it you've had success with what 
too colorful. Neon, what do you usually do? Any suggestions? Type of gunmetal that wasn't thinned. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I do have some metal paints that I want to try on this. So we'll see. Ah, oh, Sizzling Fire, thank you so much for the follow. Super appreciate it, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you've worked on this kit before, let me know about it. Or if you're working on any kits, let us know what you're working on. Just makes it look fake. I understand that, yeah. Usually do a gunmetal, then there's this black leather and goop. Ooh, smart. I don't think I've seen that goop before. So I'm wondering, like, obviously I don't have a... You had me at goop. <laughs> um, I don't have the goop, unfortunately, but maybe I could do, like... I have, um... You know what I have? I have the sponge. So maybe what I could do is, like, thin out some black paint and kind of, like, tap it on the top. Maybe. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, it might. We'll have to see. And I think it'd be kind of cool to try to do something around here, too. Like the uh, end of the barrel. Like some more reddish orangey colors. Or maybe even like some silver to show that the metal is getting a little bit bare from like the heat. I don't know, is that a thing? I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> we shall get you into Genshin. Let me ask you this, because I know there's, like, some payment stuff you can do. Do you feel like it's too grindy without putting any money into it? <laughs> it's just spend money a lot at the end. Yeah, that's what I hear, too. Too scared to start. I know, it's hard to start something like that. I don't know if other people feel this way, but I do, where it's like, I can appreciate and enjoy a lot of games, but I feel like a lot of them now have like such a vast open world for you to explore because they don't want your experience with them to end. But sometimes I want more of that tight-knit story where I don't have to go across this huge map and like find, you know, all these small things. I don't know. I feel like some games do it really well, like for example, um, Breath of the Wild. I loved co collecting the uh, Korok seeds because I was exploring the world anyway because everything there is traversable and rewarding, but there's other games that just don't do it very well. The only gotcha I play is Pokemon Go. That's something I started back when it came out. Um, and I kind of want to get into it again. You get free Google money from surveys. Those surveys can be so weird sometimes. I remember getting some in the past that were like, do you own a parrot? Would you like to own a parrot? <laughs> hey, Don's here too. You started a test of the gotcha mechanic uh, pre-nerf and then quit because it was boring. Gotcha. Folks, if you're not following Don, please do. Don is another wonderful builder in the community and does some really cool paint jobs. They always look really, really nice. Thanks for the hydrate. Appreciate that. I forgot we missed this piece. And I'm wondering too if we should uh, remove the sticker. Because we might be able to make 
something that's a little bit highlighted better than just the sticker. Because something I noticed with the sticker in particular too is like it's kind of thin, so you can see some of the gray on the bottom. I think I'm going to peel it off. How you doing, Don? Hope you're having a great day. Or a great night, I should say. Go ahead and grab that sticker. I spent so long putting it on. And here we are. Come on. currently eating. Nice. What do you have? Spicy ramen. Mmm, sounds good. So I'm thinking for this I'll try to do some dry brushing to get a lighter color in there and then I'll water down some metal color and we'll give that a try and hopefully it won't look too fake. be a little hard to dry brush on a surface like this. Mainly because things that I usually dry brush are a little bit more textured. Like, you know, if you're doing like a fuzzy creature or something like that, it's a little easier. Oop. That was a bit too much. isn't great. Okay, no problem. Super appreciate you being here in the first place. I'm trying to get it to catch just a little bit. Not too much. <laughs> I hope so. Like I said, this, you know, I wanted to try to catch like the edges and the surfaces and then let the other stuff sit in there dark. 
and then we'll do more layers. I'm no pro. This is just what I try and it tends to look fairly decent. And I'm excited to try the sponge with the black. I'm a huge fan of dry brushing. It's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so we can compare sides. So this is the dry brush side versus just the regular. Really like what's happening. Thank you. Yeah, I'm curious to see how the uh, actual metal paint will look. Hopefully, it won't ruin the whole thing. Because I kind of get where Joe's coming from. The metal type that looks really shiny can be a little bit too much. We'll see. You said you paint minis. <laughs> I'm sure you're great. I think you underestimate yourself all the time. You are one of the most skilled and persistent people that I've met. If that makes any sense. Can we see some of your minis? Do you mind throwing them in the Discord? Or even in chat here? If you're comfortable with that. need to find them. Are they stored away somewhere? Okay. Yeah, no rush. No worries. No worries. I'm super curious, though. Um, there's also a really cute collection that I want to paint. So, have you folks heard of the board game Scythe? It's kind of like a dark survivalist horror kind of theme. The art for it is actually really interesting because it's a lot of like Eastern European landscape. Kind of like how people paint over classic paintings. Um, so it's like, imagine those landscape pictures and uh, like a giant machine. And I'm not talking like a tractor, like a machine made to destroy living creatures. That kind of theme. Got it in a uh, bundle of PC board games. Oh! So there's a variant called My Little Scythe, which is really different, and the minis for it are chibi and super duper cute. Here, give me a second. Let me see. I want to see some of the art. Hey, it's the Gunpo Panda. So there I was, barbecue sauce on my Gundam. <laughs> How you doing? So here is, um, we're talking about board games for one quick second. Let me see. So I hope you can see that well enough. 
and try to make it a little bigger for you. There we go. So this is what the art for uh, the board game Scythe looks like. It's super interesting. But then you have my little Scythe. Which is super duper cute. <laughs> like these are the characters that you can paint. And I'm really looking forward to it. I think they'll be adorable. And folks, if you're not following the Gunful Panda, please do. Another wonderful builder in the community. We are painting some weapons. It is adorable, right? There's just not enough time. Not enough time to paint everything. dry brush I try to go in the direction that's gonna pick up the most on the edges. You lost a hand to the vase tray? What? Are you okay? <laughs> and speaking of barbecue sauce, we were just talking about the uh, McDonald's BTS meal. Has anyone else tried it? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. If I wanted to try it, interested in the Cajun sauce. Um, I don't know if it tastes like Asian popcorn chicken. The Cajun sauce was okay. The sweet chili was a little bit thick to me. You have a McDonald's right next to you. You might try it tonight. Yeah, the nuggets are regular. It's just the dipping sauce that's different. I haven't had um, chicken nuggets from there in forever, so that was fun. All right, let me find my metallic options. So we have shining silver, late male metal. It's nothing. It's nice, but nothing new. You prefer the sweet chili yourself, but to each their own. Yeah. I'm glad you tried it. Alright, let's try this and hopefully it doesn't ruin what we did. Yay! Time to celebrate. I'm glad you found it. Okay. So this is what it looked like before. Let's see how this works. Time to record. Well, Tato, have an awesome time. And folks, like I said, if you're not following Tato, please do. Tato is a wonderful streamer. Always a nice, welcoming environment <laughs> that's attached to the katana. That's okay. I have a feeling that this is going to make things look a little bit more even, maybe? Or give it, like, more of a subtle kind of shine. I really don't mind.
How's your stray going, uh, Gunpla Panda? I saw Perseus Lad working on one, and it looked absolutely phenomenal. And it was the first time I learned that uh, Gundam apparently had katanas. But from Joe's stream, I learned the show reason as to why. The things you learn. Okay, so time for the reveal. Here's our metallic side. Hope you're ready because your next drill request is coming. Oh boy. Wait, here we go. So here's the metal side. We get a good look. And then our regular side. I'm pretty satisfied with how that came out. What do you think? Kind of adds a more subtle shine to it, I think. Because this is still a bit uh, on the pale side. Panda, did you get to see the uh, doodles from yesterday? Because we had a just doodling stream. Which was pretty fun. And if folks want to do that again, I'm all up for it. did post them on Instagram. Mad Queen is here. How you doing? We are working on some weapons. Folks, Mad Queen is another wonderful builder. Please give her a follow. She also plays some Final Fantasy XIV. She hasn't streamed recently, but I know she will be in the future. How you doing, Mad Queen? Thanks for stopping by. Painting's really good. Um, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it, and I think... This effect is coming out pretty good. Because basically what we did was we gave this gun a base coat, which was darker. We did a lighter, lighter dry brushing on top. And now we're doing a watered down uh, metal paint on the top. so much. Yeah, we'll compare it to uh, a non-painted one in just a second. There's that. And here's one that has not been painted. Okay, so the last thing, well, one of the last things I want to do is try to add like that effect on the top here where it looks like it's, uh, you know, been fired a lot and it's kind of like white. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that though. I have to think about it for a second. There's like a lighter, I might use the shining silver. And mix it. And this is just the scope. Try 
Let's see, maybe I could use a little bit of the bronze too. This is just kind of not planned. <laughs> Whoops, that's enough. Doing it on the fly. Okay, let's try. subtle but I can see it there which is okay that's what we want gonna try to mix the white in there but I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Let's see. Just add some regular white on the top. Maybe a bit too strong. Put a tiny bit of black here. I'm gonna make the sponge wet and try to apply some on the top. So give me just one second to make the sponge wet. I'll be right back. I 
Okay, we're back. hoping this works out the way I'm imagining it. If it doesn't, then oops. Definitely a lot going on. I think that works. I forgot to do it for the scope. do that uh, purpley glow that they had for the scope too. One thing I will say, it is hard to mix purple. It's hard to get that color. never know how much of each to mix. I think we might need a little bit more red. Let's do some white because I know it was a uh, lighter. Lurk gonna get ready for D&D &D and hope it's actually happening. Well, fingers crossed. And Joe, if you want to see our weapon real quick before you go, what do you think of that? Hopefully it doesn't look uh, too fake. And folks, like I said, if you're not following Joe, please give him a follow. He is a wonderful person, has some Pokemon streams, but is also a great kit basher for Gundam. Wonderful time all around. <laughs> Panda, I think I'm going to ignore your comment for now. Oh, this purple is not turning out how I imagined. It's not very uh, purpley. Time for more blue. I feel like this happens every time I try to make purple. Something I have not mastered. Now it looks more periwinkle. Oh my word. Alright, we'll put it in there anyways and see what happens.
All right, there we go. That actually does not look bad. Not bad at all. Just want to add just a teensy bit of white to try to make the center of it look a little glowy. My whole palette is really dirty. Try to spread it out a little bit to make it more of a highlight than anything. That's one weapon complete. I think it came out pretty decently. So to get to these other ones, thank you. Yeah, so again, here is a base weapon for context. All right, so still have a couple more weapons to paint. Um, I definitely have to clean up this palette though, and my water is disgusting. I'm glad my face is covering it for you. Uh, so I'm just going to put us on the brick screen again real quick. I'm just going to wash everything off. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I feel like I should have an extra palette on hand so I don't have to take so long. Now things are mostly clean. All right, so which weapon do we want to do next? Maybe I'll just base them all the same way that I did for this one. That way we can get the same steps done for all of them.
Okay, looks like these ones are going to be much darker, but I'm okay with that. Actually, let's do this one next. Forget how many pieces are removable. So we can have a continuation of the uh, glow that we did. Like those pieces on the shield. It all makes sense now. Actually, this is supposed to come out. Oops. That's okay. So we'll do panel lining, kind of like we did for the other one. We'll fix this. This is what happens since it's uh, been a while since we built the kit itself. Mad Queen, thank you for the lurk. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. But if not, I hope you have a wonderful night. I might have to wait for this one to dry a little bit before I uh, insert that other piece. We'll see. I don't want things to get stuck together. I'm actually a little worried about this handle. I think it'll still be able to move. Again, I'm wondering if we should try to add like an exhaust effect to this. I think it'd be worth a shot. Why not? Okay, it's safe. <laughs> I was worried I hit it. Ha, ah, we have another one of those stickers. So let's go ahead and remove that.
there are certain stickers and decals that I can appreciate, like the small ones on the kit for like the uh, logos and the lettering. But other stickers I feel don't do the kit justice. Well, we probably should. Just for consistency. Get this little arm. actually finish this kit. I feel like it's been taking a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay because it's all about the process. to uh, other folks out there, but I feel like once I pick a weapon that I really like on the kit, I just pose the kit with that one and leave it on the shelf. I'm really glad they have all these options, though. normally change a loadout if there's another kit that has a similar loadout and I like it on the other kit better. That's understandable. I don't think I've gotten to that point yet, but I can definitely see your point. Gotta diversify the looks. That's right. Maybe that's something I'll experiment with in the future. Got paint all over myself. Did 
Did you get to see our finished gun, Brigadier? did nice what'd you think I think it's probably one of the best weapons that I've made I definitely use improvement but you know it works more effort than you put into them <laughs> I don't know, I just... I'm really attached to this kit, and I'm not sure why. That's true. Char is definitely one of my faves from the little that I've seen. <laughs> so stylish, though. If I could find a char costume, I'd totally wear it. More iconic than the normal Zaku, too. That is true, also. Definitely eye-catching. So, Brigadier, have you ever uh, fully painted a kit? See, we may have already painted this. Oh, no, no, we didn't. Okay. There we go. You have. You haven't painted a kit since you moved. Got everything you need except for those... The hose and window plate for your painting booth. Oh. This is that, like, airbrushing? what step we did next. I think we made a lighter gray. That's right. Aztec airbrush. That sounds really cool. Airbrushing is something I want to try eventually. I don't know how quickly I'll get to it. Oh, I forgot. He had the axe, too. Forgot about that. I'll have to grab it from the box. Let's see. Just when I thought I was done. <laughs> Did you get to see our finished gun or no? I know, I forgot. I looked at the picture and I was like, wait a minute. Don't rush into it. Dare to get out of your comfort zone with every build. And don't rush your way to full customization. That's solid advice. Oh, okay. Sorry, Edric. Don't get in trouble. Hope you're doing well. Hope work is going okay, too.
like I said, I think the thing that concerns me about painting a kit is, you know, do I prime the pieces first and then cut them and kind of put them together like a soft build and then paint them? Or should I just paint them, gloss them over, and then just put it all together? I think that's what's uh, intimidating me. Oops, sorry if that was blurry for you. There we go. Prime, test fit, touch up where needed, pull apart again. Ay ay ay. That's what I thought. That's what I feared. We'll get there. I think the F00 will be a great start. And then the 02 with that red, it'll look so good. Smooth out the priming layer too. Understandable. Thank you. Touch up, pull apart, prime, paint, coat, reassemble. That's exactly what Panda said, so yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. I'll just have to be sure to be very patient, that's all. isn't a race. There's a lot of people that rush their paint jobs and wind up with way too thick of paint coats and their kit ends up pooling everywhere. Ooh. Yeah, that does not sound ideal. No, there's some people that have like a ton of patience when it comes to like minis and stuff to just do layer after layer, and it looks absolutely astonishing when they do. We are going to cover up that's the side where we wanted the uh, exhaust to kind of be.
Yeah, it does kind of look like camo. I thought that too, because this is coming on thicker than uh, the other go round we had, which it's okay. Kind of using this to experiment a little bit. It's always a smart idea to uh, camouflage your bazooka, right? <laughs> this is true. This is true. I feel like it's just our luck. And you know what? I don't mind that. Uh oh. Too much force. Must be more gentle. problem to have. That's true. Uh, and in terms of where you move to, Bacon, I hope you're enjoying where you are now. up the pieces here in a second. Way too much. That might be better. I think I'll leave that piece dark. Hey, Trendsmats, how you doing? Yeah, I got paint all over me. Hope you're having a good day. I brought gloves to wear, but I didn't put them on. Uh, this is the weapon that we finished. So I'm hoping to get that same effect. Filthy. I know. How you doing, Bleep? You don't even know what Gunpla is. Um, Gunpla is a hobby where you put together model kits. Um, so you have runners of the pieces and an instruction booklet where you cut everything up and snap it together. And then people do a lot of customization to them. It's called Gunpla because these are Gundam, like from the anime. Well, there's the Gundam anime, which is like where a lot of these mechs and stuff come from. Uh, but the name Gunpla itself is Gundam combined with plastic. But people do other models too. Like there's different uh, mechs from other anime or some people do like cars or planes, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. If 
find it very relaxing. And there's a lot of folks who know a lot of interesting techniques. And the community is just super kind. I hope you're having a good day though. What have you been up to? No Man's Sky. You know, I haven't played that since all those updates came out and I am super interested. How do you like it? It's really good now. Nice. Yeah, because I think at the time I played it and I was like, that was okay. And then after that, I stopped. Yeah, I'd be really curious to see it now. Guys, so rad from what you've gotten to play. And they only added more since. Yeah, that would be fun to play again. Okay, that's the one I did not finish painting. Thanks for the stretch. I'll do that in just a second. Appreciate it. I feel like uh, every time I do gunpla, it's good to do this. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> too close, too close. Thank you for that. No. Trans smash, no. Don't even know where you would acquire such a thing. Or where you would put it. Yeah, wasn't Neon going to do that? I think he was going to be our uh, test. <laughs> Trying to imagine a bunch of gunpla just sitting in a bathtub. I think they would have an excellent time. Nani! You were going to do the first uh, gunpla hot tub stream, weren't you? Or you were going to cook ramen? I forget. Maybe it was a combination. Potentially in November with Adamisk. Really? This is going to be a thing? I'm pretty excited about that. Wow. Neon, did you get to see our finished weapon or no? My hands are really dirty. Don't pay attention. Thank you. We'll see. 
Panda's asking the real questions. What did Panda ask? Where? <laughs> you can only imagine how the how hot the tub gets to make ramen. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Where's the question? I missed it. You'll be talking. So I can't really remember how a hot tub works, but I would just worry that like ramen would be so thin that it would get caught up in like whatever makes the bubbles. <laughs> Hopefully that wouldn't happen, but I don't know. Sounds a little sketchy. Man, ramen. <gasps> really? Is the count that high? Neon, you are behind. Kitty pool and a bumbler. <laughs> that works. I think that's affordable. Two, two redeemed last night. Wow, okay. I have yet to catch an apron stream. It makes me very sad. <sighs> Neon's gonna have to check the VOD to verify. Oh lord. Whoa, whoa Bill. Coming in hot. <laughs> I think we need a bonk command. See ya, Tren. Have a good one. Thanks for visiting. Beyond Katsu. Welcome to the Gunpla Guys meetup stream. <laughs> wow. Wow, Bacon. Part of Bell's nature, I suppose. There were, in fact, two. Uh oh. It's how you're gonna celebrate the move, I'm sure. Maybe one of your apron, sh apron streams could also be a cooking stream. It would be very uh, fitting. Just be careful not to get uh, hot grease on any other part besides the apron. <laughs> Ever question me again? Bacon getting spicy. I feel like Neon's making a lot of promises lately. Gotta raise the price the apron was added before you had 100 followers. And look at you now. How are you going to celebrate getting the new place and moving in? It's a good question. Maybe cook a nice meal would be a lot of work for the move. True. I think the first meal that Bleep and I had when we moved into the house, we ate on the floor because we didn't have a couch yet. And I don't think we had a stove yet. I think we had to replace it. We had some Chinese food and, uh, you know, we ordered it and it came with some cheese wontons that were not ours, but we kept them. Yes, Neon did get a new place. He's going to be moving in soon. Bacon, so you can still refund the apron streams and get a little bit of respite. You won't claim it for at least a month. 
it came with them. <laughs> well, I mean, we didn't order them. It was just like, surprise, here's some wontons, and they were delicious. Uh, Neon, how big is the place compared to where you live now? Or like, maybe I should ask what you're looking forward to the most when it comes to the move, if it's like closer to where you work, or if there's some kind of like feature that you really are looking forward to in there, if that makes sense. wasn't just some wontons. It was a bag of 20. Was it 20? I thought it was just like 10. Holy smokes, you're making me feel like a pig now. Because <laughs> they're really good. You once DM'd a game in a hot tub. It was not great and awful. I imagine, like, if you're trying to look at a source book and you drop it, it's game over. And those books, like, at least for D&D, &D, are like 40 bucks or more. Sounds interesting that you tried, though next to a big park oh yes which will help with the future dog you'll have a nice uh it'll be nice to have a separate room for a stream looking forward to doing renovations painting the walls tearing out the floors customizing furniture you know you're gonna have to do like a diy stream now you're like my name's neon and here's how you tear down some drywall it would be educational both great and awful. Gotcha. Used phones for books. Okay, but still. If you dropped it. That would not be a good time. Man fails at hanging picture. Wall collapses. <laughs> It'd be nice for Neon to have a room where the sun isn't actively frying his camera. How did the ice pack go? I'm assuming it was okay. Hopefully this new old house. You wanted to do it again, but your group refused. Aw, they're a bunch of party poopers. It worked after you put a towel under it for condensation. Playing some dangerous games there, Neon. Gotta say. But I commend you for it. You're not wrong. <laughs> you wanted to laminate character sheets and use dry erase? Or, you know, since you're in a hot tub, you could just dip them in the water, I guess. wasn't the sun that was frying it, it was Neon's burning passion. There you go. Neon, did you uh, finish Village yet? Or are you still working on it? Which, no rush, rush, I was just curious. Halfway through. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I have not played, but uh, definitely watched a lot. I don't do too well with scary games. <laughs> well, I mean, you were doing so many good impressions. Like your crocodile Kermie. And your Australian Miss Piggy. Okay, I'm definitely going to want to do the blade on here a little bit differently than our other weapons. <laughs> I know, that's always a worry. I did something on stream this past weekend that made me feel very bad. It was accidental. But, you know, we learned from it. Just 
Just more Kung Pao quotes. Can't offend anyone. <laughs> well, Belle, maybe on your next stream we'll ask you to do one. And we'll compare. I like uh, your folks' idea for the contest, too. I've been trying to think if I could uh, do something to participate. I still have to brainstorm. It would just be a fun thing to try. Yeah, all in good fun. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Belle seems very organized. God, the sticker keeps getting stuck to me. All right. So let me see, what do I want to do next? I think it's sponge time. No pressure, all the pressure, depending on what you'd prefer. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I could definitely do it. It's just a matter of uh, planning, because I haven't done a kit bash before, so I'm trying to think of like what might work. Yeah, absolutely. I think it'll be cool to see what people come up with, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'll do... Do the sponge. To substitute the goop that we just learned about today. Let's see, here's what we have. Let's see. To be super complex even if you just wanted to do something as simple as different arms or legs oh, okay maybe that will be my first kit bash it's really really gritty looking which i like Thanks for the idea, Neon. Still wanting to do a blade lighter with a Hello Kitty on it. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. Go for it. work the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. Okay. These pieces are so tiny. Zaku, how? All right, give me one second. I'm just going to wash my hands because they are filthy.
Okay. Definitely not perfect, but better. So I think I'm going to use the Shining Silver on the Axe Blades. Or better yet, maybe the Plate Mail and then the Silver on the more sharp part. Yeah, I agree. Doing two tones gives it a little something extra. Let's you know uh, which side is super sharp. You're all about being extra. That seems your style. I'm just kidding. You're great, Bacon. Always lovely to have around. It is your style. Embrace it. have like one tiny place here to catch. Hopefully I don't smudge it. Okay, success. There we go. Look at that. Ching! And then we'll add the other color. We'll definitely have at least one of these on the kit, even if uh, he's going to be holding a gun. Shiny heat hawk. Is this is that what it's called? A heat hawk? I have no idea. Am I painting it the wrong color? <laughs> um. But yeah, one of these is sheathed, or I guess on his waist, and the other one is for his hand. 
I'm excited for that. Yes, I think, I think messy is the only possibility for me, honestly. Because <laughs> I do not have very steady hands, so like, precise work is just not for me. I feel like it would just stress me out. But thank you. I enjoy what I do. Okay. There we go. Shing shing. I should try to get more carefully into here. There we go. Heat hawk is what it's called, and it's fine in colors. Heat hawk or tomahawk, it's a hand axe. And it gets super heated to cut. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you said heat hawk, I was wondering if maybe I should have uh, painted it more of like a red or a glowing color. But I guess if it's not active, we're good. Okay. So let me go back to this one and try to get a little bit closer. Silver. No way. Hey, Milk. How's it going? How you doing, friend? Hope you're having a great day. We have painted some weapons today. So there's that. And these ones, which are a bit darker. still have to do the scope for the other one. You're good? Good. I'm glad you could make it. Thank you so much. So we painted this blade here. And I'm just going to try to add a lighter silver to make it look even more deadly. Okay, here we go. tell a slight difference. It's very, very slight. So I think 
I'll wait for that to dry and I'll do it again. Just a little bit. Yeah, I definitely need to get those clips. So we can let dry stuff uh, dry a little easier. Just gonna make up a line on that one since I don't see anything. So how do we think uh, scribing is going to go <laughs> for one of our future kits? I'm pretty interested in uh, that process. Alright, and we have to do the sights for this one, which I think was more of a pinkish. this one. Okay, this pink is like spot on. Okay, it looks good, but I put too much in there. Okay, better. Ta-da! boy. Congrats. Uh, where did this go? Was it here? I think it was. So you're still saving up, Bill? Alright. More than halfway. Nice. I am excited for you. I almost feel like I should lower the price. <laughs> I'll be interested to see um, what you redeem. I knew I'd mix this up. I forget what belongs to what now. You're committed. Aw. Uh, was it... I think that makes sense. <gasps> A 
have to. Stina, are you saving up too? I feel like you folks have been here forever. You want to choose a build? Ooh, nice. Yeah, that'll definitely be exciting for me. Okay, I hope I put these back the right way. I should have paid attention before I took everything apart. There it goes there. Like that. You want to choose a game? Keep dropping. <laughs> On doodles I know it's hard it's hard to resist there are definitely other uh, redemptions I've been thinking about I'm having a hard time deciding though you could maybe do what I did for points what'd you do for points you have 3.5 K saving up to make you play a game ooh la la how's it going Killjoy you could even send a model angry you too kind you too kind you and Brigadier All right, so let me get rid of our extra here. So that was an accident. Do I have anything left? I do. Hopefully this does not take away too much. I just want some consistency with uh, what we did earlier, that's all. Multi-tier redemption, lower point redemption for HG. Oh, that's smart. Mid-tier mid for RG and MG. PG, oh god. A PG kit. That's like, that's some scary stuff. I don't know if I'm ready for that. You wouldn't want to suggest something extremely expensive or difficult to find unless you could provide it. I understand that. You're very kind. All right. got a little messy. That's okay. I feel like we were just having a lot of fun with this kit. As we do with all kits. It would be like, build this extremely expensive thing, spend 200 plus dollars on it because points. Listen, if you're committed enough to be in the channel, then perhaps. Still debating on what to choose. Half of you wants to let you off easy and their other half is like, well, oh God, that kit looks so impressive. <laughs> Wait, you're doing this for fun? Yes. Does it not seem like I'm having fun when I do these kits? Because if not, we have a problem. By the way, folks, I did not do a shout out for Bleep yet today. Please go ahead and follow Bleep if you haven't done so already. Great streamer, variety streamer, loves video games, and loves talking about them. Let's do this dark effect again. I know you were. I was trying to make a joke, but I guess that fell flat. Want just a tiny bit of black. Oh, that did not work. That was frustrating. Plan B. No way! I- Brigadier, I haven't even done an RG yet. I struggle with MGs. You really think I could do a PG? You really think so? I mean, they're cool. 
They're impressive as heck. They're also terrifying. Okay. That's better. I would think so. I would think so. Because an RG is that complexity on an HG frame, pretty much. Whereas PG is nice and big. Small, meaty hands, so RGs aren't for you. Hey, Fury, how are you doing? Yeah, let's take a look at what we've been doing today. Thanks for coming back. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we did white panel lining on our Zaku, too. And we painted over our weapons. Tried to make the metal look a little bit more realistic. Like that. Here are our blades, which I want to do one more layer on. And now I'm doing these little packs. I don't know what you call them. They're like little ammo pack things. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, it was the young time. Jeez. Yeah, it's the bazooka ammo. I just wasn't really sure what to call it. Other than just ammo pack. I don't know if it's supposed to be red and glowing, but that's what I wanted to do. So close to redeeming a doodle, you can taste it. Oh, jeez. So, you know, Folks, let me know if you're interested in another just drawing slash doodling stream. I'm thinking next time I might want to make it a little bit more focused with some projects that I have in mind, but then have the um, redemption still available in between. Yeah, let me know what you uh, thought of that session and if you'd want another. It was our first time going into the art category. I was a little intimidated, I'm not going to lie. You can do 31. Brigadier, I forget if you've ever done a doodle. I can't remember. I was pretty happy with the ones from uh, yesterday. You have not. Some of the ones from yesterday got a little racy. Just a smidge. You could. It would actually be more than that because I don't stream every day. Doodle stream is sponsored by Bacon. Again. That'd be fun. Okay. Now this is looking like Cajun dipping sauce again. We're ready to do our little highlights in there. You're watching the new anime from the dude who did Fairy Tale, and it's basically the same. I saw that it existed. Uh, I wasn't sure whether to jump into it or not. 
question. Do you like what you're seeing so far? He has a very distinct style and story structure. He does. I need to go back and finish Fairy Tale. I dropped after Lucy was stuck on some wall and some time stuff. I can't remember. I kept falling asleep when I was trying to watch that part. Two. I mean, true, yes. That it's, uh, it doesn't matter if it's the same, it matters if it's well done. You'll admit you read part of the manga last year and the manga was good from what you read. Yeah, as long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. Mainstream anime you're watching is uh, My Hero Academia, right? Also, Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone is great. I love it. Alright, I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit. Let's do our blade one more time. That's understandable. It's hard when you uh, are trying to watch something but have other stuff to do, so I understand doing the dub. Psyche K is pretty funny. And Way of the House Husband is pretty funny too. They have a uh, real life, or should I say live action adaptation of uh, House Husband, which I'm curious to watch. The House Husband anime was good. I wish it was animated just a little bit more. That would have made me very happy. But it does look like a lot like the manga, so that's okay too. Because I did read some of that. And some of the shots are, like, exactly the same as the panels. You like de deck building magic while watching anime? Cool. Let me some more comedic animes that do them well. Yeah, a lot of them uh, have a referential humor that I feel like doesn't really work. Or, like, gets lost in translation. There are some funny anime out there. Like, Nichijou, I think is great. Even though it's not appropriate, Asabi Asabase is also really great. <laughs> Both of those always made me laugh so hard. You got it, HK? Uh, I'm not sure. I can repeat what I said. I said Nichi Jiao and Asubi Asobase. Excel Saga. That is a classic that I have not watched. Yes. It's funny, but utterly inappropriate. I think it does a wonderful job of capturing um, teens that are struggling with being teens. I guess I'll put it at that.
Space Dandy? Yes. And not the one you said. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Marauder High? I feel like I've heard of that one, too. I have not watched it, though. Alright, so, folks in the chat, what do you think is the funniest anime? One Punch Man, at least season one. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed by season two because of the studio change. The action sequences just seemed so blah. And that's like a huge component of the show. Okay. Take a look at that. Ta da! Yugi. I guess that's funny in a different way. Funniest is a hard one to say. There's so many good ones. That's true. And especially, like, depending on what kind of humor you want to see at the time. I forget which way this pack was facing. Oh, it must have been like this. I don't remember those parts being out, but... one here. I think so. Let's pose our Zaku with some weapons, shall we? Get this stuff out of the way. is supposed to be able to sit back here somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> or am I misremembering? I think I'm misremembering. Let's look at the picture. Oh, shoot. I forgot this piece. <laughs> Once again. Just when I thought I was done. You prefer Depresso Espresso? Oh, milk. I could tell you tons of anime that made me cry. Hmm, should we paint this piece? This does go up here. I kind of want to get the inside of the thrusters too, honestly. Hmm. Let's see. Let's take a look at the booklet. Dragon Ball Super made you cry too. I need to catch up. Yeah, any uh, slice of life anime is really touching. Oh, the bazooka goes on the side there. How could I forget? Okay, so I have this handle in the wrong spot. Hold on. I need to put this. Come off, please. Thank you. hard to watch like every 20 seconds. Oh, well, 
I don't know. I enjoy it, but maybe because it reminds me of uh, stuff from my childhood. I don't know. This could be on the side, right? So much gear. Okay, here we go. So there's the heat hawk. And the bazooka. And the bazooka ammo. You love the dub for Dragon Ball, but found the sub when you were an adult, and it's just next level. Goku sounds so much kinder with the sub, even when transformed. I love Goku's voice. That voice actress is amazing. It has nostalgia, it makes things better. That's true. But you know, nostalgia, nostalgia is kind of uh, double-sided, because there are some things that I feel like you should just leave in the past. They're best untouched. Because uh, there's certain movies that I'm like, man, I really loved that when I was younger. Let's watch it again. And we watch it again, and I'm like, oh, should have just kept that in the memory bank. Yeah, what do we think? All these fancy new weapons. You only watch cringe anime, like Wata Moti. In Chuni Bayou, we watched some Chuni Bayou. Um, I feel like its humor was kind of hit or miss for me. Kabidon, though, or no, not Kabidon. Uh, shoot, what's that game they call? They play uh, Kabidi. Yes, that's it. I hope I'm using the right hand for this. <laughs> this might be the wrong hand. There are some films, though, that they are still great, like Ghibli films. have a very weapon heavy right hand side. I just want to try. Come on. Okay. I think uh, Char is ready. How about you? I think this came out pretty neat, though. Thanks so much. I like, um, I think I like the darker metal better. Like the bazooka. I like that dark grittiness that it has. This one's good, too, though. It's a little different. I'll take some uh, better pictures today too, so you can see it a bit closer. And the blade there, it's so shiny. I love it. I feel like this is the most success that I've had with any kind of uh, metal accessories, for sure. I like it a lot. All right, so while we're here, um. I have our wee Barbados. 
or Barbatos, however you say. I know, it is huge. I feel like that's the way it goes. Um, I wanted to paint its claws yellow. So I was hoping, I was thinking maybe of either doing black to reach the crevices and then trying to do like some gradual dry brush or just doing it all yellow and then trying our best to get into the black, I'm not sure. Just call it Barbie. Yeah. Uh, did you folks know that I have a master grade for this too? That's waiting. I'm pretty excited for that. That way we can compare yellow then black. It's gonna be so hard. It's gonna be so hard to get in there. We shall try. Okay. Let's put this stuff to the side. Ah. Let's put some of this away. That's true. That's true. Lupus has no MG. It's some kind of Barbados. <laughs> I'm sorry, Don. Sorry to disappoint. I, uh... Did not pay attention. Hey, Brook Sketch, welcome back. How's it going? Did you see our weapons? You like to hand paint? I do too. Barbados first form. Okay. My apologies. I didn't mean to get it wrong. You do very much. Yes, the origin Zaku. Yes. And we did some uh, white panel lining. Pretty excited for that. Just not under MG. Hmm. Okay. He has six versions. What? Thanks so much. I really enjoyed it. Especially, uh, blades here. Alright, so let's do these claws. Heat hawk. Yeah, I learned that today. I feel bad because it is in the booklet, but I must have forgotten. You're excited for the 8th because the first half of caves and cliffs where MC is coming out. Oh, Minecraft. Okay, I had to think for a second. That's cool. I'm glad you're excited for that. All right. These claws are so big. They're awesome. So, Milk, are you done with school for now? You play the Minecraft ripoff. Listen, I really like Dragon Quest Builders. I think it is so cute. I love Dragon Quest. And Builders is just so much fun. It's designed so well. I have to finish Dragon Quest Eleven. At this point, I feel like I should restart it. You have all the games? Nice. Yeah, I think I've played 11 and either 5 or 7. I think it was 7, the one where you're doing a lot of, uh, like, island hopping slash time hopping. You're finished for the summer. Yay! What are you gonna do? Any fun plans? Ooh, this is going to take a while. But it'll be worth it, I think. I should have primed this first. Whoops. You have to pick up stuff, but you're basically done. Nice. That's very exciting. I'm really glad you showed us your exhibition. 
I thought that was super awesome. Get a job, try to get a proper PC. Switch has the first three games remastered on the Switch for like $3 each game. That would definitely be worth looking into. Well, Milk, good luck with uh, getting a job and getting a better PC. I'm sure that'll be a nice reward for the summertime. Though I'm not sure how expensive PC parts are where you live. Glad we're getting these done too. I'm gonna feel more accomplished now. I felt like my list was getting a little bit too big to handle. In terms of stuff I had fallen behind on, I need to just uh, put the last of the stickers on that Strike Freedom. And then we'll finish the Heavy Arms. And then we'll either work on the Leo project or we'll work on the Evangelians. I'm not sure which. I have not decided. I think I might want to try the Leos, honestly. We could call it Trio Leo. Or the Leo Project, which, which sounds kind of interesting. Brigadier? No, sadly, because what happened was the day that we looked at it after stream, I was trying to get it from P. Bandai, and P. Bandai was under maintenance, so I was like, okay. And I went back, and when I went back, it let me put in my address, even though it had it before, it like lost it. And when I kept trying to toggle to change the country, it just kept choosing Singapore. That was like the only option. So I was like, okay, guess I'm gonna wait till morning. And by morning, it was gone. Uh, hold on, I can actually show you. Ready? Watch. I changed things for us. Ta-da! This, my friend, is the Leo S. Promise the wife more until after we move, Gunplay mean? I understand. But isn't this just pure elegance? Look at it. Look at that cape. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful kit. And it was pretty affordable too. It was like $24 or so. I want to get my hands on one. So, Belle, I might have to, uh, talk to you after stream. You're gonna get a pre-build because you're not great with computer stuff and you found a company that sells a good graphics card. Okay. Sabo might have some left. Try side 7 imports. Okay. Leo S is a suit from the mangas like Tall Geese Flugel? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for all the help, everyone. It's one of the elite general suits similar to the Black Tri-Stars. Have not heard of that. But I'd be willing to look into it. Yeah, if we could get it, that would be amazing. You want the Atlas Gundam? That is a pretty good one. So I had a few extras a few days ago, so there's hope. Okay. We shall hope. Thanks for the help, everyone. Okay, so while that's drying a little bit, let's go ahead and do our second one.
You just wait for the next con and get your P Bandai shirt. Their merch is expensive. DM oblique about stuff in the Sakura import server. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm part of that server too, but uh, I guess I don't pay attention well enough, do I? I appreciate all your help. The day sometimes just gets so chaotic that by the time I get home, I forgot, like, half of what I was thinking about earlier, you know? Oh, gotcha. Sorry, Don. That makes more sense, too. Save your money that way. You pinged me in there? You did? Oh my. Now I'm embarrassed. I'm gonna have to check back. I'm so sorry, Bacon. I'm so sorry. Uh, Pre-build PC recommendations. Ugh. That is a good one. I'd have to do some research. What is your basic budget? And like, what kind of games are you looking to play on there? I'm not pro by any means. Bacon, I'm very embarrassed. <laughs> Oops. I'll have to be more vigilant. My apologies. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I feel bad. Gaming and editing. Hmm. You do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be that way. I get very busy with stuff. Compla is like my reprieve. $1,500, okay. I'll have to get back to you on that one, Milk. Is there some stuff that you already have or are you just starting from scratch? First claw again. Probably have to do a few layers to get that vibrant yellow that we want. That's okay by me. Starting from scratch. Okay. It's okay, I'm not either. I just have a grasp of the basics. It's pretty fun to put your own together, though. So would you want to get all your parts uh, brand new? 
or would you be willing to get some refurbished or used? I usually recommend getting stuff new if you can. Graphic cards are still at a markup price. Yeah, I know it's hard. The pandemic and everything else. I think even before the pandemic, at least in the States, made it difficult. Especially with the new graphics card gen. It just created such scarcity. I feel like we might have to wait a little bit for those to dry some more. Uh, so if... Hey, Papa Zadl. How you doing? Welcome. GPUs might not start becoming reasonably priced and available until Christmas. Wow. Let's see. Ethereum? Changes really do damage to the miners? Hmm. Trade war. Yes. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. So Panda, if you're still here and you have enough points for your redeem, I think now would be a good time to do it while we're waiting for these to dry. Not to put you on the spot. How you doing, Papa Zonal? Did you see our weapons? is also trying to release cards that are specifically bad at mining but still able to game and stuff. Interesting. You're going to get a pre-built because you're a bit scared of messing up. Don't be scared of messing up. I mean, there's a lot of things that could happen, but it's a lot of um, just trial and error, too. I guess Panda has to take care of his daughter. Okay, understandable, understandable. Doing good. They look great. Thank you so much. Yeah, we also had um, our Heat Hawk. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, I think this is the best that uh, metal effects have come out for me. So lesson learned, definitely thin out your paints. We're just trying to paint our Barbatus Lupus Rex's thingies. They're still a bit wet. square wire and square hole. Yes, yes, absolutely. And there's some basics to it, you know, that you can follow with any kind of YouTube tutorial. Like, you don't need the specific parts in the tutorial. You could just have, like, how do you put in a motherboard? How do you put in this part? Sorry, I got headbutted by baby last year, but oh no! That's okay. It seems more intimidating than it is. Yes. I mean, you know, I've made a couple, probably like three or four at this point, I think. But they're so few and far between that when I get back to it, I do get a little intimidated where I'm like, shoot, I kind of forgot how to do this. But it comes back. And like I said, uh, with YouTube, there's a lot of good guides and stuff like that. And also, um, if you're a Reddit user, you could use um, Build a PC and Build a PC Sales. That shows you some stuff that may be on sale, too. And people have some suggestions there, too, in terms of, like, uh, builds that you can make, I believe. Yes. Exactly. Yep, yep, we're on the same page. Pre-builds are honestly the way to go now if you want a high-end GPU. They're not typically as badly marked up in price if you can find one. You sometimes can buy a whole pre-built for the scalper price of the GPU alone. Wow. Yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, upgraded my computer, so I haven't looked at 
parts too often. Or recently, I mean. Two thousand five. Holy smokes! Are you still using the same one, or is everything else you buy now just, you know, already assembled? Never thought I'd say to get a pre-built since I built my own for the past seventeen years, but the market is crazy. It is. It's tough because I had a friend a while ago who has never made their own PC before and they're like, I want to try to make a PC and I was like, now's not the best time. I buy power is always your choice for people computer. I have not heard of that. You're scared. Thankfully no, got a super deal on a PC back in 2011 and then had to settle for a pre-built a few months ago. Gotcha. It's uh, quite the privilege to have pretty powerful PC. Like I felt like I wasn't really aware of the difference until I started experimenting with it for myself and I saw the capabilities and I was like wow okay this is pretty amazing. Your old PC ran Val Valheim on a low 6 frames per second. That is amazing. No, I understand Milk. I can see what I can do in terms of recommendations for you. It might take me a little bit to get back to you, but I will try my best. Be a bit slow sometimes, I don't mean to be. So I'm sorry for that. It's just how it happens with me. <laughs> I get sidetracked. I should be uh, gossiping with the Barbatos, painting its nails like this. Thanks, don't you trust? I'm just being honest. <laughs> I keep my promises, but sometimes the delivery is slow. It's like snail nail as opposed to Amazon Prime. we're getting there. I still see some gray spots underneath. I really should have primed it first. Whoops. My bad. My bad. I'll give him just a little bit more time. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? What you up to? Blow dryer. Just want to be able to use up this paint while we're here. And I'm wondering if I should mix like a tiny bit of white with it. That 
might be a good idea. And I'm talking like just teensy tiny. A little bit of silver. Oh. I like the way you think, Brigadier. I feel like I always alternate between calling you Brigadier or Bacon. I just can never decide. You'll look for the pre-build you were looking at and put it in the Discord. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Uh, bacon works. Brigadier is my father. I know. It's like Baconator and son of Baconator. I'm son of Baconator. Of Clan Beef. I love the Baconator. <laughs> So much so that uh, back when I had braces, I broke my braces on a Baconator. Some dang bacon went right under the wire. The pain was worth it. Okay, that's nice and mixed, and I feel like it is going to... <laughs> Did you have braces too? It's a hell of a way to break braces. It was. It definitely was. It was It was not fun. That was years and years ago, though. The power of bacon was much too strong. I know! I thought I'd be safe! They said, like, you know, no hard candies, which makes sense. They didn't say anything about crispy bacon. It was a lot. Yeah, feeling like it fling. I was like, oh, shoot. You ripped out a dental device by having a homemade lollipop when you were a kid. It was devastating. That's yeah, pretty scary. <laughs> Sorry if I brought back uh, bad memories for anybody. the silver kind of helped. It's definitely much more solid. Found it? Okay. Sounds good. Supposed to be streaming tonight, but you woke up hella early to get to the restaurant for a thing. Don't really feel blah, 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 blah. be up for it. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's tough. And like, I, I try my best not to miss any days. Um, I think it's really nice to have a routine. It helps me feel relaxed and it helps me um, get stuff done. And plus, I get to talk to all of you, which is wonderful. You're like the main point that I'm here, really. Off to play D&D. Looking forward to seeing the next finished product later. So, well, Papa Zottle, thank you so much for stopping by. I did not know that you played D&D. That is awesome. I play it too. So next time you're here, let me know how your session goes. Let me know what kind of character you're playing and what's going on. Later, Papa. Italics normally have a slightly better, higher pigment count. Oh, good to know. Maybe it'll give it a bit of a glow too. A sparkle. <laughs> no. 
not destruction. Companionship, friendship. You kidding me? I've met so many wonderful people through Twitch. It's like unbelievable how many wonderful people are out there that are willing to come by and just hang out and talk about stuff. Dylan White are problematic paints to use. Yeah. It takes a while for them to come more vibrant, but I think we've got it. That's looking good. Yeah, I feel like I say it every time. But I am thankful that you're all here. Truly grateful to meet such good, good people. So, Milk, out of curiosity, are there any specific types of jobs you're going to be looking for? Okay. I think one more layer will do us good. Just one more. Uh, computer. <laughs> well, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I want. Whoops. Oh god. Testing if I'm a human. <coughs> Gotta pick all the pictures of a boat. I don't know if I can pass. I think that's a train. <laughs> boat, 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 boat. Night ship somewhere. go.
Hmm. Okay. Gives us an idea. I'll have to do... Oopsie, a little more research. Put your art in a shop. That would be really cool. <laughs> Got a joke for you. Why can a farmer not keep secrets? Too many ears and eyes. Haha. <laughs> that is pretty good. Indeed, uh, CPU and GPU. How come, Don? Whenever it comes to telling a joke, I can't remember them in the moment. I'll just think of them randomly. Other than my coworker who sends me some on occasion, which he has not done in a while. He wants that PC for rendering, so AMD CP would be better for that. Okay. All right. Daniel, thank you for hosting. Super appreciate it. So I think that'll do it for our yellow. And then we'll try to very, very carefully do the black. So I have no answers for you at this time, but uh, I'll do some research. My sense of restraint when I buy gun Gunpla. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Although I feel like you go pretty, um, pretty hard. And David with the hydrate. Thanks very much, friend. Always way, way too kind. With your health checks. I appreciate them. <laughs> What's restraint? Exactly. There is none when it comes to Gunpla. Rio Vane, welcome. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. We painted a bunch of the Zaku 2, which I can show you in just a second. You know restraint, is that what you mean? In just one moment. There we go. Got some nice yellow claws. Whoops. So this was our Zaku 2 from today. We finished up the white panel lining, which is a little bit different. Um, oh, finishing the RG Strike Freedom. Very cool. Uh, we painted these weapons here. Which I was pretty pleased about. I think this is the best that uh, metal has ever come out for me. Like this. Finishing the wings. Very nice. Yeah, we made the uh, MG. I have not tried an RG yet. They're on my list. I have one ordered, which thanks to Bell the Sheep helped me get from Premium Bandai, or at least find. Um, which was the Evangelion with the night combat armor, which looks super cool and glows in the dark. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, Want to meet a crazy person? What do you mean, Don? What do you mean? Yeah, so I'm super excited for that. I'm 
a little bit intimidated though because I'm still pretty new to the hobby. I've only done probably like six HGs, I think, and one and a half MGs. That's amazing. Thanks so much. Yeah, I really like uh, the bazooka here. I think that came out pretty neat. I know. Well, thanks again, Belle, for pointing that out to me. I can show you folks a picture of the kit. Hold on. As long as this behaves. Oh, let's see. Do, do, do. Person is so crazy, he bought a hire's wing just for the wings to give it to the MG Talgies. Wow. You talking about yourself? Let me see. Okay, ready? Hold on. Let me get it. There we go. So this is it. I think it looks absolutely astonishing. Am I going to do rust and weathering? Uh, not on this kit. Got a weekend build ready. Nice. What's your uh, weekend build? Um, so... Milk, you've seen my uh, idea for the Leos, right? Ooh, that's really cool. That'll be exciting. Oopsie. What did I do to this thing? Hold on. It's misbehaving. So I have three HG Leos. One I'm going to spray paint gold. One I'm going to scribe to look like the uh, Breath of the Wild Guardians. And one I'm going to make very rusty and mossed over. Um, so this is one of the projects that I'm looking forward to. So milk this one we will rust out and stuff but not this uh char zaku i feel like char wouldn't let it get that way yes glow in the dark glow in the dark yeah i'm super excited so i'm thinking we'll finish these up i'll finish up the mg heavy arms and then it's a toss-up between the leos or um the other Evangelians that I have with doing a full paint. By the way, if for some random reason you don't want your AT field... AT field? Oh, oh yes, 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 let me know. Oh, that'd be cool. Char goes too fast to get beat up. Exactly, exactly. It can't build up rust, everything just goes whoosh. I'm just being silly. Alright, let's try to very carefully put the black on here. I'm probably going to fail at this, but we will try. I mean, if I were smart, I would probably just gloss this over, wait for it to dry, and then do some panel lining. But I'm impatient. Where's my thinnest brush? Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, I thought it was a... Uh... Because like I said, this here is a sticker. So it kind of gave me the idea to do the rest white. I don't know. So excited for the shiny. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of, uh, what is it, the Gold Knight from uh, Shovel Knight? Or like a shiny Pokemon? I think that one will be the easiest in terms of just spray painting and then putting together. Okay, let's try our best here. Let's be very careful. Scooty the School. Hello. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. On the hip are missed panel lines. <gasps> Say it ain't so. Where? Let me see. You have a good eye. Oh, these here? They were very close to the sticker, so I was very nervous about them. They were a little too close for comfort because my mistake was I wasn't sure if I was going to panel line this or not. So then I had already put the stickers on. Oh, front side, what? Oh, the section here. Hmm... Maybe I should grab that. Maybe I should. 
It's going good, just watching some Gundam 00. Nice. You think weathering is super fun? Must recommend. Yeah, it'll be fun to do. And on the gun, you make a black wash. What do you mean? Hey, Doru, how's it going? Just trying to finish up some claws here. But Don pointed out some parts I missed. So I might have to go back. Nice. I'm glad you had a good time. All right, let's be very careful. For some freehand, that was a little intense. Easy to make panel lines, if you say so. You're going to sleep? Ah, well, Milk, thank you so much for stopping by again. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a great night and a good day tomorrow. Washes are very watered down paint. Yes, I do know what washes are, um, but I wasn't sure, you know, if we should add any more to the weapons because I feel like they uh, came out pretty decently. Yeah, we'll do we'll fix the panel lining. Oops, well, we're already in it, so. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't too bad. Like I said, we'll just experiment. I did not think at all about using a wash. I mean, from a distance, that's not bad. Unless someone's going to come in and inspect my Gundam. I don't know if I'll pass Gundam inspection. Hey, it's Ride. How you doing? Check Masabo. Yay! Yes, I would like one. Very much so. I have no idea about... I'll shoot. The details, though. Well. You know what? That ain't terrible, especially from far away. So, Ride, this is what we've uh, done today. We finished our panel lining. We got the weapons painted over. But Don pointed out that we gotta get some panel lining here, so we'll finish that up real quick. Mm 
In the meantime, we were working on some claws. Thanks so much. How are you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you for a bit. Quite well, been very busy the last couple months. Okay. Well, I hope it's uh, chilling out for you. Ain't no law with claw. so much, Val. So, Belle, have you ever tried uh, scribing before? Or anybody in the chat, have you tried scribing before? Because that's something I want to try soon. Alright. While those dry... Let's do some panel lining here one more time. Oops. And then we'll be able to call it good. Does that sound good to you, Don? Describe a lot, but never on stream. Understandable, because you're not going to be able to really see anything. satisfying process but when it comes to time to mirror it oh yeah well luckily what i want to scribe doesn't really have to be mirrored uh because it's the like breath of the wild guardian so those lines are a little bit more organic i think yeah and the kitty kit bash would be perfect to try done we'll get those parts and we'll be done uh sure entirely random question go for it those can either be really good or really bad but knowing it's from you i'm sure it'll be good is this the way they went that seems wrong let's try that again Hmm. 
How did we do this? What have I done? No, that's the right way. How's that? Oh, yeah, you're fine. Um, I prefer to use they, them, but I mean, you're good either way. I'm not like horrendously picky, you know? Because I know it can be a difficult adjustment for people, but no worries. And I appreciate you asking. Okay. Haha. -ha. How's that? Looks much more spiffy now. Oh, Belle, you're perfectly fine. I appreciate you, for real. Everything you do, all your kindness. That's definitely more lively. Kind of reminds me of bananas, though. <laughs> okay. Let's get the last of this panel lining, and then I think we are out of here for the night. Thanks so much, everybody, for sticking around. I appreciate it. I think that's the closest I'm gonna get there. The nag is bigger than the dude's head? Absolutely. Oh, okay. I did not know that about the bottom of the hands, but we will keep it as is. I feel like our kits are always a little off, which is okay. I don't mind that. Wondering if I should try to get a toothpick in there. We can try. There's always a little something going on with these kits. Toothpick actually works surprisingly well. And those dots, I think I'm going to leave as is. All right. It has been a wonderful time as always. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm really happy with how the weapons came out on our Zaku. I'm going to take some pictures after this to try to show you folks a little bit of a closer look. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Super appreciate it. You folks are always way too kind, way too wonderful. Um, thanks so much. And I have a final round of uh, shout outs to do. So, got lots of Gunpla Builders in here. Go ahead and give Angry a follow, if you haven't already. Also a chill stream. Bell the Sheep, super knowledgeable about kits as well. And we have the wonderful Neon here, whose streams are always exciting and surprising. Super appreciate everybody. Oh, stop. No, no. 
you do too much neon. Um, Optus Dino, thank you for being here as always. And Killjoy, thank you for being here. Super appreciate it. Ride, thank you so much for stopping by. It's good to see you. I hope the months, uh, you know, calm down for you a little bit. And Brigadier, thank you also for being here. Or sorry, that's your dad's name. Bacon, thanks for also being here. <laughs> Let's uh, find somebody to raid. Let me see. Who is on? Late coming on. Hopefully we can catch a little more next time. Yeah, so next stream will be Saturday. It's going to be uh, probably around either 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. EST for me. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I feel like it's been a while since I've done some Dark Souls, but that's going to be a bit of a struggle. Uh, let's see. Who should we send you on over to? <laughs> I know. Dark Souls can be... Quite the challenge. Oh gosh, and Don, we need a shout out for you too. Don's stuff always looks excellent, does wonderful custom paint jobs, always looks great. Alright, let's see. You know, I haven't been able to check out a stream from this person yet, but they seem super lovely. So let's go ahead. And go over to uh, Icky Bat or Ichi Bat, I'm not sure which. I haven't heard it pronounced yet. But it's another uh, Makers and Crafting stream. So thanks so much, everybody. Hope you have a great night and take care.